Guten Tag, just amigos. Welcome back to the grind. Another day, another chance to hopefully not blunder my queen. The way I see it. Three moves, eh? Okay, let's see what we can do today. Yeah. Think here, C4. I need to figure out if the London system expects knight D2, then C4. You know, I'm going to try that. I'm going to just try it once. I'll protect this with the queen. I don't want to stack my pawns here quite yet. I believe I just win the center this way. Let me think about this. Take with the bishop, he takes with the knight. Um, no, if I take with the knight, uh, I lose. I think I have to attack his queen and he has to block with the bishop and we just trade off. I think that's the idea. Hmm. Maybe I should have pinned his knight a bit sooner. Let me just see how this could have played out. No. I don't think I could have. When I take his bishop, he's going to take with the queen. He'll probably push his pawn up. I'll have to throw a pawn to protect the knight and sort of unpin my queen here. I think this has to be done. It's my knight in a bit of an unfortunate spot. Mic was turned off. I'm fully expecting to see some queen before action. I probably want to start pushing c4 at some point too. What's he looking for? Is he trying to coordinate an attack on e2? So check takes. Hmm, maybe I don't want to push c4 quite yet. I'm just going to push his bishop 
Uh, his knight is not actively threatening anything. So I'll just kick the bishop. Well, this is a free bishop. I think he's going to be... Is he going to be eyeing here? Can he try to attack his queen and just take the bishop? I mean, I don't know. It just seems crazy to not take the bishop. I know I have one sort of loose pawn on b2 here, but... So, defended. Just looking to see, like... What tactic he's trying to find here? Like, what am I missing? I, I just don't feel like he would give this up. Oops, queens can't jump that way. So e3 is defended. I mean, c2 is only defended once. Ah, uh, I think that's what he's going for. Okay, so it looks like he's um sort of looking for the fork here. So I believe I'm forced to push up to c3 here um otherwise i would lose a rook or actually i would lose a queen yeah he's got two attackers on c2 i only have one defender a2 is attacked so i have to defend with the rook He'll probably fall back with his bishop here at this point, I imagine. Yeah, this basically saves the queen. Saves the queen or the rook. No reason not to recapture with the bishop here. Hmm. Could always take with a knight. wonder what's more valuable here. I mean, I can attack his queen next. But at the same time, if I take with the knight, I also like that the queen's kind of defending, or blocking the king in a little bit. I'm just going to take with the knight. I probably want a castle soon. Okay, so he's defending. I'll just go for the castle here at this point. It's a pretty good time to castle. He castles as well. Um, I think that was actually kind of bad for him since it exposes this really long diagonal here. So if I check him, excuse, excuse my lines there. If I check him on g4, what is he going to be forced to block with? He'll be forced to either block with a rook or move his king back. I guess it doesn't really matter here at this point. Hmm. I probably should figure out how to win this pawn. His rook's on the same file as my queen here, which I don't like. This pawn is loose.
I'll start trying to get my rooks out onto this semi-open file here. Okay, I was expecting something like that. Now I have boom, boom, attack his queen. Could also attack this way. Uh, let me think about this. Boom, 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 attacks. All right, let me play that out. So d4, d4, takes, attacks the queen. Mm, I don't love that. I'd rather just play the safe way. Mustache problems. Drinking coffee with this mustachio. Not good times. Which rook do we want to get out? Look at this. I've developed all my pieces. Finally. <laughs> Glorious day. <laughs> hmm. Probably just a developing move. Um, let's see. Where can I win? Ah, uh, he's also kind of protecting this pawn as well. Hmm. Uh, I just want to see what his response to this is going to be. So I kind of have a giga move if I can get my knight out onto c6. Bit of a royal fork there. I'm hoping he doesn't protect with his queen. I want his queen to stay put so I can jump my knight to c6. That'd be pretty epic. Okay, he doesn't do the thing. That I was hoping for him to do. Hmm. He did not do the thing. We're going to try some bait next move. Nice. He took my bait. Oh, his knight's defending that. I see. I see. Yeah, I can't quite go for that. That's a bummer. Uh, I mean, I can continue to pressure his queen, though. need to be careful though, I don't want to lose a bishop over this. I think he just really weakened his defense. Not by much, but by enough. I need to be careful that um, he doesn't get a knight out onto, say something like, e3. Could be a potential for a fork there. I know I'm defended, but you never know. Okay. 
Just gonna attack his queen. Seems like a safe move. What do you think? F5. Force him to move around a little bit at least. F4 seems kind of cracked. Well, no, I need to defend. Either fall back or go back to my original square here. And this this knight is a bit of a bummer that's protecting c6, but... Uh, I mean, this pawn is pinned at the moment. So maybe we just have to pressure this pawn. Hmm. Is that right? Yeah, this pawn is pinned because it's... This bishop is x-raying his queen. I need to snipe these. Hmm. I try like b3, c4. Hmm. I'm really blocking my bishop in here though. Pretty bad. I do have a check, worst case scenario, but maybe it's time to. Yeah, he's got plans on this side of the board. He has two loose knights. And I really wish I could find a way to fix that for me. I don't have a great way of getting my queen into the mix here though. I'm kind of tempted to just stop stop his pawn push. But um I'm gonna do like a little counterattack here. See if he takes with the pawn. I think he'll take with the queen. Uh, this pawn situation is really bad for me. Oh no, this is actually kind of bad. Oh really? He's committed to the attack on this side of the board. I mean, this does attack his queen, so he's going to be forced to do something. 
unfortunately, I have a lot of firepower coming down this way. This is a bit of a forcing move. Interesting. So I can't take with the pawn. I'm kind of pinned here. Maybe I have to go pre continue to pressure his queen. There's always this move. Doesn't really gain me anything though. Could always just trade queens off. He just takes with the rook and then I lose this position for nothing. Um, I think attacking his queen is the better bet here. I need to be careful this piece is not defended. Maybe I should have pushed, well maybe next move I can push my queen up and start to eye his knights. I need to be mindful of these threats down here too. I see. Whose attack is going to win first? <laughs> uh, there's so many options here, man. I mean, pressuring the rook. I don't know. I don't know. It's like we just completely don't care about each other's attacks. <laughs> He's got his attack going. I've got my attack going on these <laughs> four files. He's got his four files. We're just having a good time here. <laughs> hmm. I really should just be looking to start trading pieces off. Gosh, what does that do? Not sure, that's just check. Hmm. Can't take that. I'm gonna lose if I take this knight. 
Maybe it's Rook second time. <laughs> Rook sack. Wow. You didn't want to take that, huh? That's better here. I want to move my queen already. Uh, I kind of just want to trade queens off here. I wonder if I should just block his pawns in. He has the check here, which is uh, actually no, it's just going to be GG, so I have to run this way. I'm guessing he's probably going to. Oh. Yeah, I ripped my queen. Ugh. Man. Ugh. Sucks. Unfortunate. <laughs> When's the night? Uh. Oh, I'm like starting to get tilted. <laughs> oh, and the rook is pinned. Uh, man.
Don't want to go D8. <laughs> I was really tempted there. I don't know if you guys could tell. Yeah, I know this game's pretty much lost, but I'm just going to play it out. There's a slim chance. Yeah, the one queen move he found was really good. I basically kind of ignored all his threats coming down my king's side, which was uh, a bit of a Bomber, but yeah, what can you do? I thought I'd be able to find some kind of checking pattern on his king side first, but yeah, it just didn't end up that way. But oh well. Yeah, rip. Hmm. This bishop was just poorly placed the whole entire game. Um, I really should have tried to leave it somewhere. More centralized. Well, we kind of have to give it up at this point. It's about the only viable move I have left. Oh man, he's just finding like all the tactics. It's crazy. It's wild. Boom. Yeah, I mean it's basically GG, but um, I'll just play for. I'll probably just try to play for a draw. Well, I'm really cornered in here. <laughs> yeah, man, he just he found the tactics. So, yeah, good, good work, Cyprian Valerian. Cyprian Valerian claims yet another victim. <laughs> uh. He's really committed to playing this one out, too, so props to him, yeah. Oh. Ah, I should have went that way. Ah, I should have moved up. It wouldn't have really mattered. I think he would have found that either way. 
Yeah, GG, Cyprian Valerian. He played very well. He played like a 400, he played like an 850. Eh, shocking. Uh, let's do a quick review. Okay, cool. D45, good move, good move, good move. Push C4. I think I'm just going to start pushing C4 in the London system. Just willy-nilly. It just seems so unnatural to push up C4 when you can just take like this and, you know, and the pawn is wide opening in it. I mean, how do you go for this pawn? What's next? Knight C3? Just block it in. Bishop G4. D5. Okay. E5. Really? Why would you not just take the knight? Eh. Engine line that's above my comprehension. <laughs> okay, so London system. When in doubt, play C4. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good move so far. Uh, so pinning his knight. Okay. I feel like he would have just defended that. I thought it was more important to unpin the queen here. I mean, yeah, the knight was defending here, but... I don't know. Knowing my luck, I probably would have uh, missed this. Yeah. Um. Okay. Carrying on. So kicking the knight is kicking all the pieces. This ignores an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting square. This is such a blunder, huh? Interesting. Okay. I think uh, what I've noticed is that anytime you see this message from the engine, it typically means it's like a very um, tough engine line to find. And normally at this elo, Things wouldn't play out this way. I feel like I had to protect C2 here, though. Maybe I'm not following, but... Oh, I see. So even if he were to go for the fork... And king f1, right? So king would be forced to move. And then queen c3. Yeah, so he moves his queen to safety. Continue to harass the queen d6. Okay. And then we take the bishop. Okay, but then our knight's in trouble. Oh, and then, yeah, he takes the rook. Take the pawn on d5. Uh, I mean, naturally. Well, oh, I see. Take the pawn and defend the knight instead of losing it. Uh, that makes sense. Okay. Complicated line there. Um, yeah, that was sort of a big debate on what to do here. I was really just trying to prevent two attackers onto uh, c2. Um, but uh, yeah, this makes sense though now. Just. Pressuring the queen instead. Because, yeah, even if he gets this fork, he wins a rook out of it. But if he were to leave his queen on c5, he would lose his queen that way. So, Oh, sure. So continue to pressure the high value piece. Okay. I need to remember that. Yeah, once he got his knight onto e5 there, it was it was a really big struggle for me. That knight move was very strong. Yeah, it's been very strong. Uh, very strong uh, position for this knight the entire game. I just... I feel like I almost should have just pushed up f4 at some point. 
And yeah, this bishop just ultimately ended up doing nothing. I'm just wondering what the engine would have said. So pretty bad. Any yeah. 5 is a great move. A good use of time thinking and finding the only good move in the position. This stops the opponent from being able to force doubling of castle pawns. Sure. Let's move the bishop back. Yeah, I was really hoping I could do a knight move. D4, C6 eventually at some point. But once he put his knight here to defend that square, I probably should have just gave up on that plan. Um, there was the potential for that really nice fork with the knight here. I was kind of hoping I could just sack the bishop uh, and get out onto C6. But that plan didn't go so well. Yeah. I still try to kind of maintain that idea, but... Yeah, at this point, it probably would have been better just to give that up and uh, go to a more centralized spot like e2 for the bishop. So, lesson learned there. Lesson learned. I thought the pawn push was the way to go. I was, uh, I may have miscalculated this a bit. I probably should have had the rook onto c1 instead of having the queen protect this file since the rook and the his rook was uh, x-raying my queen. This was so bad, huh? I did not think that that was so bad. This leaves a knight open to be captured and ignores an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. Hmm. Wow, so even here I had such a big advantage, huh, and it just got thrown away. Hmm. This knight move was not the play. What should I have done instead? Just taking the pawn. See, I was expecting him to do something like this. That's what I was expecting him to do. But it looks like the engine doesn't mind that. I mean, I suppose I could block with the with the queen here, huh? Yeah, queen g2 is what it recommends. And then queen h5, just hide. King h1, get the king off of the open file. Yeah, I'm really regretting this knight move. Uh, it looks like that's pretty much where the game fell apart. Or was it? Uh... Here's how I saw this playing out in my head. I was expecting him to just start trading pieces off. That's what I thought would happen. And then I thought he would go for the pawn and then try to, you know sort of pressure the open file here. Uh, that's what I was expecting to happen, but Cyprian Valerian had other plans in mind that I didn't quite see. And it looks like I moved my king the wrong way too, so. <laughs> that was really so bad after king f2, huh? So this was just so much better. Interesting. Now we trade. What does it say here? Oh sure. Don't even don't even go for the queen trade, but just leave the queens out on the board. Interesting. A6. Rook G1. Pressure the queen. Queen H5. Um check the pawn. B5. Oh, sure. Take the bishop. Makes sense. And then queen takes. Gotcha. Queen c4. Offer the trade. Hmm. I see. Okay. Yeah, so um, I don't want to go too much further into the review. Uh, looks like there was just two main moves that uh, threw this game. 
yeah, it was uh, sort of this king f2 idea, and then the uh, the knight idea here didn't quite go as planned. So I probably should have just kept it simple. See, I figured in in this position, I was just really surprised that he didn't go for the trade. That's what I was really expecting. But I should have I should have noticed the the discovered check there. But uh, yeah, what can you do? Um, yeah. I ignored a lot of his threats on my king's side, and then um, my pieces were in unfortunate positions. Anyways, lots of lessons here. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next game.